guys welcome back to the channel we are back with another video on python for beginners to advance in our previous videos we have seen about the boolean data type and the string data type in our today's video we are gonna go ahead with the slicing of strings so first mean what do you mean by slice what do you mean by slicing of a string now slice means pieces breaking one particular string into pieces will be known as slicing of a string and to slice this string we are going to use an operator so this is the operator which we are going to use to retrieve the parts of one particular string so this is just the square brackets open square bracket and the closed square bracket that we are going to use here in python strings follows zero based index that is the start of that particular a string will be from 0, 1, 2, 3. For example, if you're going to have apple, A-P-P-L-E, apple. So the first index will be the zeroth index. The index can be either positive or negative. Positive indexes means a forward and negative indexes means a from uh, right to left. So this is the meaning of a slicing of a string. Now let's see the slicing of a string in Visual Studio code. We have our Visual Studio code here. Now let's type in the example for slicing of strings. Now, first example, I'll just give yes is equals to beyond. Okay. So, and how do we give the strings? We are going to give it in the double quotes. And next, we want to print what is at yes of zero. So whenever you are going to give like this and when you're going to hit the run, when you're going to hit the run button. Now you can see at yes of zero, you have B. Now in the same way, you can also see what is at yes of five and run this. Now you can see, okay, we did not save this. You need to save. Always remember once when you're going to save, you can see that at yes of Five, it is D and add up S of zero, it is B. Now let us see zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is how you are going to get the slicing of string. Now also let us see what it what is at yes of minus one. Now let us see how much you have uh, given attention to. Let us see you give the answer at what is yes of minus one i would like to get your answer in the comment section okay now let's hop on to the next content now here we have certain notes what are these notes in python the following data types are considered as fundamental data types we know this we have seen this in python we can represent char values also by using str type and explicitly char type is not possible okay so you can only have char types can be represented as a string as well but you cannot explicitly have the char type long data type is available in python 2 but not in python 3 in python 3 long values also we can represent by using int type only since python is giving you so many options to make it easier for you so that the data types long float all these now they are going on decreasing now in python 3 you directly have only int option for long as well in python we can present char values also by using string type and explicitly char type yeah this we already have the same thing here now let us see certain other examples as well with regard to slicing of string okay let us see the answer here for this you need to save the project run it now you can see that at minus one also you have d so now we have understood that whenever we are going to go from our left side to right side b is having the value of zero and whenever we are going to go from left side right side to left side this value is going to start from minus one so now let us do another example here I'll just give print the value of yes of now you can see me doing one is two two i'll just save this i'll just remove these or else again the same things will be printed i'll save it print run this now you can see that it is giving me e now what do you mean by one is to two now if i'm just going to increase one is to three now you can see that e and y it is displaying you e and y so what do you mean by one is to three so here 
from starting from 1 2 and 3 it is going to consider but it is not going to consider the third variable it is only going to give you the output of 2 when we had given a 2 over here you can see that it just printed us with e why did not it print with 2 because a y is the last variable so it is not going to take the last variable all right now let us see what happens if i give just 1 and a 2 now you can see a from 1 until the last variable it is printing you the value if I am going to give some other value, say for example, uh, let's see how it is going to print for the only the last value. Yes, is to 4. Now let us see how it is going to print. Okay, all the variables until the fourth variable it is going to print. Okay, and once when we are going to give only the colon, only the colon, so we are going to get the complete string as an output. So this is how you can use a slicing of string. Then also you have a length to check the length of that particular string. I'll just give it as a print length of, yes, yeah, save this and run. Now you can see the length of this string is set. In Python, there are certain data types which are considered as a fundamental data types. They are int, float, boolean, complex, and string. And in Python, we can represent char values only by using string type. Please don't forget this. Let's move on to the next concept. That is typecasting. Typecasting is very, very important in all of the programming languages. You might have seen typecasting in Java as well. Now, let us see what it is in Python. We can convert one type value to another type value. This conversion is called as typecasting or type corrosion. The following are the variables in build functions for typecasting. One is int, second is float, third is complex, fourth is boolean, and the fifth one is string. So these are the basic types that we have already. Next, let us start with the int. We can use this function to convert values from other types to int. For example, you can convert it from complex to int, from boolean to int. Okay, so let us try from float to int, from string to int. Okay, let's see whether it is possible or not. The first example we can see here, you have int 123.987. So this is your floating data type, which will get converted to your integer data type as 123. Next, you have int 10 plus 5j. This is your complex data type, which can get converted into int but you will have a type error that is can't convert complex to int next you have boolean this is going to give you the value as one because a true means one false means zero so if you're going to give int false it is going to give you absolutely zero here next you have yeah next false is zero next int 10 so you can see that it is an integer but it is inside a string right so it is going to convert itself into 10 and 10.5 invalid literal for int with the base 10 because it is 10.5 so it is going to give you this sort of errors so int 10 with a string so that is also an invalid literal because you cannot convert any uh, numbers to you cannot convert any string that is your alphabets to number then you have an hexadecimal number this as well is an invalid because here you have b so that conversion will not be possible okay let us see these in your in our visual studio code you want to convert it for octal or okay so we have our visual studio code Let's give print int of one five three plus. Okay, so this is certain decimal number. So I'll just save this and I'll run. Now you can see that it has been converted into integer form. So this is how you're going to convert it. In the same way, let's add for other as well. We have print int of we had a string of 10 then we had int 
two. We have int of false. And we also had piece number. Zero B one one one. Okay. We have true, we have false. I'll save this, I'll run this program. Now you can see that the first one is converted into 153, the second is 10, third is true, that is one, false is zero. And when you give a 10, you have a trace back that there is certain print 10. So this is a string which is an invalid literal, it cannot be converted. In the same way, it is for the same thing as well. Okay, so that's all for today's video. We'll meet again in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.